Good Saturday evening. Grace Stinkoss here with your local forecast update. Let's go ahead and head over to our Pfeiffer Cam in Fayette County. Currently a temperature of 55 there. They got as high as 81 today, so quite warm, but cool and calm night for them. And over here in Tuscaloosa, we're looking out over the Walk of Champions on the campus of University of Alabama right now. They're heading home from that game. It's about to wrap up, and it's a beautiful evening to be outside, and it was a beautiful day as well. Dry across the radar, very quiet conditions. That green you're seeing on your screen is just some ground clutter, and we're dry all night. And we have been throughout the day. If you see this loop, we haven't even seen a, seen a cloud in the sky, and that's the case for many of us across the southeast, Mississippi, Georgia, and some activity to our north, but not affecting us. T today, we got as warm as 78 in Tuscaloosa, 74 and 73 in Haleyville and Coleman, so in the lower 70s in our northern counties. And for the rest of us, mid-70s to upper 70s, 75 in Birmingham and our dew points are comfortable as well not as dry and crisp air as we'd like to see we're seeing those winds come from the south in the southeast and that is why but we will see these dew points to be not too terribly uncomfortable we're not far off from our average for this time of year either our average is 74 and some of us were around that but here in Tuscaloosa we got as high as 78 for your day tomorrow, very similar to today. We may warm up a couple degrees more, topping out around 81 with sunny skies. You may see some fog early in the morning, but that should dissipate quickly and will warm up throughout the day. Lots of sunshine. Now it's quiet here, but that's not the case for the whole U.S. We see lots of activity on the eastern portion of the country and in the Ohio River Valley right there. And that is evident here with that zonal flow across the southeast and temperatures that are very they're varied quite a bit here. Little Rock is seeing 73, and we over here in Tuscaloosa are seeing 62. For your future cast, let me track this out for you. For Saturday evening, we'll see a few clouds in the sky, but many of us will see clear conditions. And then when you wake up on Sunday, a few clouds and some of that low, those low-lying clouds and the fog you could experience, but that should dissipate quickly. Now this is showing a lot of cloud coverage. I don't think we'll see as much cloud coverage as this model is showing. We'll see a good bit of sunshine peek through as well. Clear evening on Sunday, but Monday is our next chance for rain. We're gonna see these scattered across the region. A lot of our western counties could get a good bit of rain Monday and into Monday evening. And for your extended forecast, as far as rain chances go, it's not looking promising. Tomorrow is a dry day, but Monday we're gonna see a good chance of rain across central and west Alabama. For Tuesday is another dry day as that high pressure system moves in, but Wednesday we're gonna see a very high chance of rain and some strong storms possible. We'll keep an eye on that. As it gets closer, we're gonna look for severe weather possibility. And Thursday, we're gonna see some of those storms linger but just mostly showers and then friday just a small chance of rain maybe some isolated showers still remaining as far as the tropics we are quiet here in the gulf nothing's affecting us but we do see hurricane rick off the coast of mexico and that is just named a hurricane and tomorrow though here in central alabama we're seeing temperature of 81 degrees sunny and warm conditions much more like summer and spring feeling than fall for sunday you're dry monday we're going to see that rain come in and we're going to see some scattered storms across the region tuesday we're going to dry up again and wednesday we're looking at lots of storms across the region could produce some gusty winds as well potential for some strong storms and thursday we're going to see some rain linger in the area friday we're going to see some isolated showers possible but temperatures are falling into the upper 60s on thursday and by friday our highs are only in the low 60s and overnight lows are in the mid to upper 40s